This special presentation of the Big Ten Network is brought to you by Purdue University, preparing tomorrow's leaders for a changing world. You're watching Purdue Pride, where we'll now show you the university's vision for the future. The first glimpse came at the president's inauguration in April. President Cordova revealed three broad areas of emphasis for the university's strategic plan. The first area of emphasis is launching tomorrow's leaders. A priority is to enhance the experiences of undergraduate students during their first two years. We will centralize services and resources in a student hub that fosters student life and leadership, academic excellence and diversity. It will promote and reward innovation in teaching. A goal is to abandon, over time, the large classes in favor of smaller classes that engage students in experientially learning. Well, I mean, that shows like the infection yeah, process, you know. The second yeah. point of emphasis is discovery with delivery. As a research university, Purdue's goal is to be at the forefront of discovering new knowledge. A bold beginning is Purdue's Discovery Park localizes 11 interdisciplinary centers and encourages partnerships. Purdue has constructed several commercial research parks around Indiana, which today host 170 companies. And now we need to pump new discoveries into those parks. The third and final strategic area involves meeting global challenges. Everything I've said today involves our university's position as being both transmitter and receiver of global knowledge. So now it's time to roll up our collective sleeve to solve global problems. Oh, <laughs> Students, soon it will be expected that you will have enriched your resume with an experience abroad. Our goal is to encourage every student to think globally. Any questions or comments? The completed six-year strategic plan was adopted by the Board of All Trustees in June. Aye. 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 Board Chairman Tim McGinley says this new Synergies plan positions the university to meet the challenges facing humanity, create new opportunities for Indiana and the global economy, and enhance student learning for success in a changing world. This is really uh, an exciting time for all of us. To help students succeed, Purdue launched a $304 million campaign for access and success to expand student aid and support programs starting in fall 2008. We want to make certain that the benefits of a Purdue University education are open to all students. And we want to focus new energy on helping students succeed and graduate once they arrive. One key component of access and success is the Purdue Promise, which ensures a Purdue education to qualified Indiana students whose families earn $40,000 or less. And by 2013, we expect 880 students on the campus will be part of this program. Dean of Admissions Pamela Horn says other programs provide scholarships for middle-income students, help attract and retain top students, support learning communities, and boost orientation efforts, such as Boiler Gold Rush. We recognize that it is also critical to provide support for students prior to their matriculation at Purdue, making sure that we widen the pipeline of academically prepared students who can be successful at Purdue. Now's your time. Horn says the goal is to increase participation in learning communities to about one of every five first-year students and to double the number of participants in Boiler Gold Rush. That's all for this edition of Purdue Pride. Until next time, we'll leave you with the Glee Club performing at the inauguration of President Cordova. Can you feel a brand new day? Can you feel a brand new day? Can you feel a brand new day? Can you feel a, day? a brand new? It's a brand new day. 
The preceding program was produced by Purdue University in association with the Big Ten Network.